welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a how you can start couponing at CVS video. Uh, did I just say video twice? Yeah. <laughs> so I just want to give you guys 10 tips that helped me out when I was starting couponing about a year and a half ago. And uh, hopefully it will help you guys out. I know there's tons of videos like this out there, but I wanted to concentrate the best of the best and the easiest things to do at CVS and yeah let's just go ahead and get started I have my notes down here so if you see me looking down it's because I'm looking at my notes so the very first thing that you need to do is obviously get a CVS card and link it to the Beauty Rewards Club and their emails so what that means the Beauty Rewards Club is basically for every $50 worth of beauty products that you buy you get five dollars in ecbs i'm going to talk about the ecbs a little later so just know for every fifty dollars worth of stuff you get five dollars back uh what i mean by worth is that you don't have to spend fifty dollars cash it doesn't have to be all in one transaction it can be in many different transactions for many different weeks and um this is all regular um the regular price or the sale price before coupons so fifty dollars is it goes by a lot quicker than you think i get my five dollars uh, from the beauty rewards club every two to three weeks if i'm doing very well at cbs so it's basically money that you get back for stuff that you have already purchased the next thing that i mentioned was the email every time that you sign up for an email you will get two or three emails a week with different coupons that you can link to your card as well you don't have to print them out you could just go ahead and, and it gives you an option to say that says um send to card and you send it to your card and there it goes different coupons not em not everybody gets the same coupons but those are the vast majority of the cvs coupons that i use come from my email number two my number two tip is the CVS app and why is it so important to have the CVS app number one you get to link your card to your app so you don't have to have your card around you don't have to remember the phone number that you use it with you just show them the barcode on the app and they are able to scan it through your phone again they have CVS app only coupons coupons that you can only find on their app you don't have to print them out they literally go straight to your card when you send them to your card it gives you an option it says send to card you send it to your card bam the number three the third tip is use the red box coupon machine as soon as you walk in the store every time you go to cvs go to that machine and Put out either the um, the card number or your phone number and it will print out a list of coupons or CRTs that you can use. I'm going to get more in depth about CRTs later but just know every time you go to CVS go to the Redbox coupon machine and print out your coupons. Again CVS doesn't give everybody the same coupons you might get a different coupon than what I'm going to get and your neighbor might get a different coupon, but those coupons are always, um, you know, they're always helpful. I'm sorry, I'm getting text messages left and right. So always use those coupons or always go to the red box machine first. Number four is CRTs. Now, I don't remember what CRTs stand for, but it is basically what I call a CVS coupon. They look something like that. You can get them in different ways. One, you can get them on your app through your email. Two, you can get them through the Redbox coupon machine. And three, sometimes they print out at the end of your receipt once you have made a purchase. Um, this one specifically came from my receipt. It was at the end of the receipt. It was a $4 off a of 14 body wash coupon. So always keep this with you because 
they help out a lot. So CRTs, you can get them through the app, through your email, through the coupon Redbox machine, and through uh, the receipts. Another one, the fifth tip is spend. You're going to see a lot of spend words around the store. For example, sometimes the deal says spend 15, get $5 in ECBs. That spend means $15 before coupons, okay? So you don't have to spend $15 out of your pocket to get those $5 back. This is just an example, okay? If it says spend, let's say the Tide this week is on a really good deal. It's uh, spend $30 on Tide and Dawn and I think Charmin, stuff like that. Spend $30 and get back $10 in ECBs. The Tide, I believe, is like $5 at CVS or four something. So you can go ahead and get uh, four or five of those. What, what ends up being $30? Six, right? Six times five, 30. Yes. <laughs> so you, <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. I, my brain is somewhere else. So you can get six Tides, um, the little gallon, detergent tides you can use six coupons because you're buying six items and you still spend thirty dollars you know what i mean like the thirty dollars that you have to spend is before coupons before anything like that so it doesn't take much to get to thirty dollars or fifteen dollars or twelve dollars whatever the word spend is before coupons now i'm going to talk about stacking and why I love CVS so much. It is my favorite store of all time. Reason why is because CVS allows you to stack coupons. What does that mean? For example, I'm going to give you guys an example of what's going on this week at CVS. By the time I upload this video, the week is probably gonna be over, but I'm, this is just going to be an example. The Irish Spring Body Wash is two for seven dollars and for every two that you buy you get a two dollar ecb like i said i'm going to talk about ecbs a little bit later so for every two irish spring body washes you will get two dollars in ecbs well if they are two for seven i have a crt that printed out a four dollars off of 14 so that means that I can get four of the Irish Spring body washes, use this coupon, plus there's a manufacturer coupon that came out in the um, newspaper that I can use towards this as well. So I can use four of those manufacturer coupons from the newspaper, stack it together, pay, pay $6 in cash, and my battery is dying. Hold on one second. I'm going to plug it in and I'll okay. be right back. I'm back. I'm saved. So like I was saying, you buy four of those body washes. You use this CRT that is a $4 off of $14. Now my total would be $10. I use four manufacturer coupons that come out in the um, newspaper. I remember it being a dollar off of $1. So I can use four of those coupons. I pay $6 and I get back $4 in ECBs because remember for every two that you buy, you get $2 back. So I pay $6, I get back $4, making my total $2 or 50 cents for each body wash. That is how you get the best deals when you stack coupons together. Now, CVS has this amazing, awesome uh, coupon that is usually a $10 off of 40 or a $10 off of 25. Um, those are usually sent to your email, by the way. And you can stack those coupons with the CRTs with manufacturer coupons. That is, that is how you get your less out-of-pocket cost because you don't want to spend $45 out of pocket and get only like 
three bags of stuff. Like it's just not, it does just not how it works at CVS. You can get much better deals when you start stacking CVS coupons, manufacturer coupons, and then you have the ECBs. I'm going to get into the ECBs. I hope that the whole stacking thing makes sense. If it didn't, let me know in the comments down below and I, I will, you know, try to explain it better. Now, this is my tip number seven, which is ECBs. ECBs stands for extra care bucks, which is basically money that the CVS gives you back. I did the Irish Spring body wash deal and I will leave a link down below to my video. And I got back $4 in ECBs and this is what ECBs look like, okay? It's basically money that CVS gives you back for uh, spending money at their store, okay? Now, what is very interesting about an extra care box is that you don't get money back if you don't spend it all. What does that mean? Basically, this ECB is worth $4. Let's say that I go to the store and I am really craving a Snickers bar, so I want to get a Snickers bar that costs 99 cents. And I want to use my ECB because I have no cash on me. Well, when I use it, the value of my ECB does not stay at $4. It actually goes down to 99 cents. They won't give me the difference back in cash. So that's why you have to be very, very careful not to spend all your ECBs without thinking what the subtotal is going to be because you might actually end up losing what your ECBs are worth. So just know you won't get any money back, you won't get change back. If it says $4, you have to make a purchase of $4 or more for it to cover. I have heard that in some states, the ECBs also cover taxes. Um, I'm not sure about Texas because I, I haven't had to pay anything before. Uh, so I don't think or I do think that ECBs cover taxes as well. Sometimes they don't and you're just asked to pay for your taxes. So just know if it says $4 worth, that's how much it's worth. No more, no less. So now that we talked about the ECBs and stacking and all of that, one of the other amazing things about CVS is their clearance items. Their clearance items are not usually like, a crappy little corner with a whole bunch of stuff and you can't find anything no their clearance is usually pretty amazing and you can use you can still stack CVS coupons you can stack manufacturer coupons and you can stack ECBs all on clearance items okay I have heard though that not all clearance items gives you ECBs back um I haven't really tested that. I don't think every time that I buy clearance items at CVS, they don't give me ECBs back, which is fine by me. I mean, I don't care if, you know, they have a, a clearance shampoo. They have it on clearance for $3 and I have a $3 off coupon, manufacturer coupon that comes from the newspaper. I'm going to get that shampoo for free. So that's fine if they don't give me any ECBs. So Always keep an eye out for clearance items. They're usually with a, I don't want to call it mustard yellow because it's not mustard yellow, but it's more like a highlighter yellow tag on it. So keep an eye out for those and always match them with manufacturer coupons, CVS coupons, and EZBs, okay? And number nine is at CVS, they allow you to use coupons on free items. For example, um... Let me see if I can find any around me. No, I don't think I do. I don't have anything. Um, the Wet n Wild lipsticks are usually buy two, get one free. Okay. They are regularly 99 cents each. And let's say that you have a 50 cent off of one coupon. I'm going to do my math on my paper. So let's say that they're a dollar, right? One dollar for the... um lipsticks they're buy two get one free so you buy three of those buy two get one free did i say that right yeah so you buy three of those your total is now three dollars remember this means that you um 
Actually, your total is $2 because I wouldn't get one free. Duh. Okay. You can still use three coupons of the 50 cents off of one and get it down to 50 cents total. Okay? That is going to be how much you would spend because you have purchased three lipsticks and you can use three products even if one of them is already free. Okay? It just counts as the other for the other two. So... That is one of the most amazing things that CVS does. Sometimes they have buy one, get one free body lotions, and you can use two coupons for that. Plus, you can still stack manufacturer coupons, CVS coupons, and ECVs towards those purchases. My last tip is more of a personal tip to you guys if you are starting off. It is, first of all, don't get your expectations too high. I know that we, and I say we because I used to do this before, I used to go through all these people who are couponers and see how much they would spend on things and watch. Also, I would watch the um, Extreme Couponing show on TLC and I was like, oh my God, these people are getting carts full of stuff for nothing. And the reality of it is, that's not how it works all the time. I have never had that happen to me. The best that I have done is spend zero dollars and zero cents and leave with a couple of bags worth of stuff from CVS. And that's just my personal opinion. Don't get your expectations too high. Don't expect to walk into a CVS for the first time and spend nothing out of pocket. The first couple of weeks, there's always going to be something that has to come out of your pocket to be able to get extra care bucks back. Okay, this is the money stop. This is how you make money at CVS through their extra care box. But to make money, you have to have money and pay money. So I'm going to try to give you guys videos on, you know, random weeks, how to start couponing it for $10, which I have done one of them like that. I will leave a link down below. I went to a store, no CVS coupon, no uh, ECBs. I mean, just CVS coupons, manufacturer coupons, and $10. And I show you guys what I got for just $10 worth of stuff. Like, it's, it was really, it was a really good week just for $10. So, don't expect to get things for free right away. It, there, it's gonna come. Trust me, you're gonna leave one day from CVS having to pay nothing. Those days are very, very um, near. But if you are just starting off, it's not going to happen. Just set yourself a budget. My budget is $10. So be like that. And the last thing is just be loyal to your CVS. This is just my personal experience. I have about five CVSs in my area. And I always go to one particular one. And the reason why is because I have gotten to know the cashiers. And I have gotten to know the managers. If there's any issues at all with my coupons or any issues in the store, I know that they have my back because we have a relationship. I have been to other CVSs and they're not so nice, which I understand, you know, not everyone likes couponers and I don't know. Um, so I would say stick to one CVS, get to know the cashiers, always have a smile on your face, don't be afraid of anything you're not doing anything wrong you're not stealing you're not doing anything wrong and just go out there and put a smile on your face and they will be nice to you trust me um and if they're not then just go to another cvs and try to stick to that one but always be loyal to one particular one because there's gonna come in time and in a day that you're going to need them to back you up and you know reset the the coupon or Maybe the computer is acting up and it won't scan your coupon and you're going to need them to know that you're nice and <laughs> do that favor for you. So, yeah guys, those are all the tips that I have for you. I will be making this video in Spanish. My video in Spanish might take a little longer just because I have to translate everything in my head. But I hope that you'll have a wonderful week. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions or any comments, please leave them down in the comments down below. I will leave a link down to my blog where I will um, put all these tips down as a blog post. So if you don't have time to watch the video, it will be down there. And yeah, I think that's all I need to say. 
I hope y'all have a great weekend, and I will talk to you guys on my next video. Bye.